And I ask this council that as we talk about everything that is happening here, I heard from each and every one of you somewhat of desperation and somewhat of defeat because we talk about this so much. And every time we talk about it, more people continue to die. And I listened to my Russian colleague and he talked about task forces and diplomacy and less criticism of the Syrian regime. Where has that gotten us? It hasn't gotten us anywhere. And then the times where we could actually do something as the Security Council, who's the one member state that continues to protect the regime that's keeping this humanitarian assistance from going through? So I will tell you, many of you said we need to put pressure on the Syrian regime. That's actually not the case. We need to put pressure on Russia because Russia continues to cover for the Syrian regime. Russia continues to allow them to keep humanitarian aid from the people that need it. Russia continues to cover for a leader who uses chemical weapons against his own people. Russia continues to veto and Assad continues to do these things because they know Russia will continue to cover for them. So I will tell you, sitting in this chamber, I appreciate all the comments that you made, but all eyes and all pressure now need to go to Russia because they are the ones that could stop this if they wanted to. So don't listen to the distractions of what they're trying to say, pointing to other conflicts. Don't listen to the fact that they claim the reports now are wrong. So now, first it was the Security Council that was wrong. Now it's Mr. O'Brien's report that's wrong. But the images don't lie. The humanitarian workers don't lie. The fact that they can't get the assistance they need, that's not lying. What is, is to continue to give Russia a pass for allowing this terrible situation to occur.